What's going on guys, D Legend here. Today we have Maximum Gold El Dorado. So we're gonna be hunting for Access Code Talker. And we'll see if we can pull one of those because that's the best card in the set right now. I think it's around $60, so that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, four packs in each mini box for a total of eight packs. But uh, before that, I just want to announce again that I have a Primal Origin box break going on right now for box break number 21. Crazy that we're doing 21 box breaks on the channel already. We are, have already done 20, which is crazy to me. But um, yeah, let's see if we can pull the amazing number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon in Ultimate Rare. Um, and if I do pull that for one of you lucky subscribers that decides to purchase packs for this box break, then I will grade it for you for free if you want me to. So definitely check out this box break. All the details are on my Instagram. And uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to DM me on Instagram at DLegend underscore Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, yeah, let's get this sold out. There's only six packs left before we can open up this box. So let's see if we can get this sold out by like today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's get into these though. Subscribe to the channel, by the way, guys. Always helps to show your support. Leave a like, share this video, and obviously leave a comment telling me your favorite pull from this video. Let's see if we can get this thing open to, be, to begin with. So yeah, I found these at, you guessed it, Walmart. And uh, I had to pick them up because it's been a while since I've opened these. And Access Code Talker is definitely worth the chase, in my opinion. I pulled one of them already. But I um, have not pulled another one recently. So let's see if I can get, get it from this set here. I have to go in through both sides. These are so much packaging, like just like those from the past. There's just way too much packaging involved in these things. Holy moly, it's gonna take me eight years to open this, finally. Hopefully we didn't damage the uh, actual cards. Let's get into it. All right, so we've got Guardian of the Golden Land, uh, Cypher and Gear, Cypher and Lord Omega, Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Lee, Libby, Cypher and Gear, Gamma, nice, and Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Shell, so not too bad for our first two premium gold foils. Leave them off to the side for now. Axis Go Talker, let's see if we can get one. I know it'll be reprinted eventually, but again, I'm not sure when. Mystic Mine, is that Axis Code Talker? No, LP, IP Mess Arena, not bad at all. Pretty solid pulls. Um, I think the alternate art is slightly more expensive than this one right now, but pretty pretty solid for our second two pulls. These these packs aren't actually pretty, are uh, pretty, pretty good actually in all honesty, in terms of value, so. All right, so we've got number three, Numeron Gate Tri Trini, another Omega, Numeron Chaos Ritual, Scrap Dragon, and a number C1000, Numeron, Numeronius, Numeronia, oh my goodness, that's, how do you pronounce that? Okay, not terrible, we'll take it. Let's keep it going, last pack for this, mini bucks. One big hit so far, I'd say, with the access or the uh, IP Mask Arena. Let's see if we can. Oh, Nightmare Unicorn, not bad. And Code Talker, as well as Weather Snowy Canvas and Familiar Possessed Lina. So, okay, it's not terrible for the first mini bucks. Next one, though. Let's see if we can get ourselves something crazy or a misprint. I would like to see that misprint, Red Eyes in this box. I'm sure it was just a one-time thing, but be cool regardless. We got these two. All right. We got the Weather Thundery Canvas. Also the Earth Tremor Immovable. Weather Snowy Canvas. The Weather Snowy Canvas. Destiny Hero Plasma, I like this card actually, with this artwork, not, not gonna lie. Another IP Mask Arena, not bad. Uh, Prank Kids, Battle Butler, and Kagamucha Knight. Okay. We'll take those. All right, Black Dragon Collar, Collapse Serpent. Number four, Numeron Gate. Neos, nice. Number nine, Dyson Sphere, and Evil Zardulka. So, 
we'll take that. Neos is always cool too, to be honest with you. I might actually grade a copy of this because it's a really nice looking foil. Secret looks amazing too with the tin promo, but I actually do like the uh, gold Earth version of Neos. Everybody thinks we're getting a Neos Starlight Rare, but I don't know if we will. Oh, finally, a Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is the first time I've pulled this specific printing of it in Gold Rare, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Altergeist Malusik. Fossil Dig used to be good, and a Raigeki. This one is one with actual foiling on the foil, I believe, so. Or, I don't even know. Can't tell, let's see. Yeah, there's actually, like, foiling on the foil. I've pulled a couple of misprint copies with nothing on it. So, kind of neat. All right, moving on. Last pack of the opening, guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Lost World, Black Wiz, uh, Black Dragon, Call a Serpent, Mystic Mine, uh, Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, Cursed Eldlen. Okay, so we struck out in terms of not pulling the Access Code Talker, which is not the worst thing in the world because there's actually quite a bit of value in the set. So. Overall, we did pretty well, I'd say. And uh, yeah, let me just go over our premium gold pulls. We got Cursed Eldon, Mystic Mine, Unicorn, another Mystic Mine, Moonlit Chill, Cypherm Gear Gamma, Red Geki, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Elemental Hero, Neos, Evil Zard Dolka, Pla uh, Destiny Hero Plasma, IP Masquerina times two. Where's the other one? Right there. That's pretty good, actually. And we have Familiar Possessed Lina, Numeron Case Ritual, and Number C1, or Number IC1000. I don't even know what that means. Somebody tell me in the comments below, because I'm not, I don't really know much about uh, the numbers, to be honest with you. I haven't finished this Excel yet. I should probably watch that and finish it off. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And again, box break going on, so definitely check out my Instagram page if you are interested in participating in this. Um, pretty cheap packs, in all honesty. I think the like one pack is twelve bucks U.S. dollars, which is not bad considering this is a Zexel set from literally twenty. It's the last Zexel set, so I think it came out in twenty fourteen, maybe fifteen. I don't really remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, yeah, getting on this box break, get involved. We'll see you all next time. Peace.